let's take a look at a piece of software called FZ Easy Marauder Flash by Skeleton Man 3 This will allow us to update just about any of the ESP32 boards, GPIO boards for the Flipper Zero. There are a few exceptions out there, but the main ones this can update for. So before we do this, uh, you'll notice here I'm on the GitHub page for FC Easy Marauder Flash by Skeleton Man 3 And there are two things we have to do beforehand. Two things, and here they are. The first one is we have to install Git for Windows, and we have to install the ESP32 like drivers, the board drivers. So these are very simple to install. The first one is this Git one. You just go to download right here, download it, install it. You're good to go. Very easy install. Just do all the basic stuff. You don't need to change anything. Same thing here, driver. You install, for most people, you should be installing this universal Windows driver one right here. You just click on it, download it, install it. Very easy. Those two things are very easy to do. Now comes the not so easy, easy Marauder. Easy Marauder flash. So I come back up here to the very top of the page of the Skeleton Man 03's FZ Easy Marauder on GitHub, and I hit code. When I hit code, I'm going to download the zip right here. I download that, and I stick it in my download somewhere, right? Wherever I've decided to download it. Now, I go to where I've downloaded it, and I want to unzip this. I happen to be using 7-zip, so I right-click, go to 7-zip. I'm just going to extract all the files here. Boom. You'll see I have this unzipped folder right here. I want to navigate inside right here. Here's all the files. Then I go to my address bar on my file explorer, and I'm going to copy this address. Right-click, copy. All right. Now I want to head over to my command prompt, CMD, command prompt. I open up command prompt, and I want to change directory, or CD, to this area right here. So all I do is hit CD, and then paste what I copied before. I hit Enter. Boom. Now I'm in that directory. I'm in this FC Easy Marauder folder. And what I want to do is start this file right here. So the way I do that is simply by typing the name and hitting enter. So I'm going to type easy install.py. I hit enter. And here we go. Now it starts. And you'll also see as it's doing this, it is saying, hey, these folders don't exist. It's okay, I can grab them for you. And so it starts doing that. And you'll see now over here, things are getting bigger. So we'll stay over here and we'll see what it's doing. Looks like it's still downloading some stuff and we'll let it do that. It's gonna download all of the bins and all the files necessary to update these ESP32s. All right, so it looks like it did it. And now we get to choose what we're going to update. So I'll take you through this. Let's update, um, let's see, this V4 Chungus board right here. So all I have to do is choose the number. So first I'm going to plug in the board that I'm going to update. And in this case, I am updating the Chungus board, the V4 Chungus board. So all I do is plug that in. I know you guys can't see that, but I'm plugging it in. It's plugged in, and now I'm going to hit 9 for that Chungus board. Let's see what happens. 
All right, it sees it. It's now erasing the flash memory. And it's gonna go through its process to flash it with the newest version of Marauder for this Chungus board. All right, there it goes. And it doesn't take too long. This will give it all the latest features for Marauder, including all the cool Bluetooth stuff. It even includes uh, Evil Portal, which is much easier now to use through Marauder because you don't have to reflash your ESP32 with just, with just Evil Portal. You can have Marauder and Evil Portal in one app, so that's great. All right, we're getting to be very close here. We're at 73%, 78%. It happens very quickly. Does not take too long. And it will kind of, uh, this screen here will just disappear. You'll see the screen will go away. And now I know that it is fully updated and I can plug it into my Flipper Zero. If I wanted to, I could run the program again. There it is. And update another board if I wanted to. It will it will place Black Magic, which is a different app for the ESP32. You have all the different options. You have the W Room. You have um, all the a lot of the AWOC, as you can see here, AWOC stuff, uh, Rabbit Labs, a lot of the Rabbit Labs. ESP32 things can be updated from here as well. So this is a very uh, versatile tool to use for updating any of those ESP32s. This has been the review of FZ Easy Marauder Flash by Skeleton Man 3 I hope this helps you understand a little bit how to use this tool and update all of your ESP32s.